All right, just going to make a video showing the Islamic origins of Calvinism and how Calvinist doctrine, especially the doctrine that God actually causes sin or that God is the author of sin, is actually rooted in Muslim doctrine, which in turn is also rooted in the pagan doctrine too. I might come up with a video on that as well. But I'm going to show some verses from the Quran, which actually uh, tell, basically say that Allah, the God of Islam, the false God of Islam, actually causes sin. And I'm going to show that Calvinism also teaches the same thing. So... When you get down to the facts of the matter, Calvinist doctrine comes from Islam. And it makes sense, too, because Calvinism has a lot in common with Islam. This kind of, this murderous mentality. Like, you look at, you know, like, I don't know, some cult, like, where, you know, over in Topeka, Kansas. You know you know who I'm referring to? You know, they have this kind of mentality of, of Islam towards non-believers. Like, that God actually enjoys and takes pleasure burning sinners in hell. Didn't he? he sure did. He created you so he could show his glory by drop-kicking your ass into hell Forever. As a vessel that's that's one fitted for, destruction. fitted for destruction. That's the way God rolls, as they say. <laughs> it's Muslim doctrine. Calvinism is completely Islamic in their theology. So, and stuff like this proves that. So here's these verses from the Quran which actually talk about Allah causing non-Muslims to sin and Allah being the author of sin in non-Muslims. Check this out. So first of all, like I said, the Quran says that Allah causes non-Muslims to sin. This is in Surah 16, verse 93. It says... And if Allah please, he would certainly make you a single nation, but he causes to err whom he pleases and guides whom he pleases. And most certainly you will be questioned as to what you did. So get over this. So Allah is causing you to err, but then you're still going to be questioned as why you did it. And you're going to notice this too. If you read through the Quran, it actually teaches that Allah decides who gets saved and who doesn't. So the Calvinist doctrine of predestination and God choosing who gets saved is also rooted in Muslim doctrine. See, Calvinism has a lot in common. Calvinism is basically just Islam, you know, Christianized Islam, essentially. It's all that it is. Next uh, point is that uh, although Satan tempts Muslims, it's actually Allah who's causing non-Muslims to sin. This is in Surah 4, verse 143. It says, They are swaying between this and that, belonging neither to those nor to, nor to those. And he whom Allah sends astray, you will not find for him a way to the truth, you know, that is Islam, basically. They, they say it's the truth. This is Surah 4, 88. It says, Then what is the matter with you that you are divided into two parties about the hypocrites? Allah has cast them back to disbelief because of what they earned. What they have earned. Do you want to guide him whom Allah has made to go astray? And he whom Allah has made to go astray, you will never find him, find for him any way of guidance. So they say, again, that Allah is causing you to go astray and that you know, Satan's the one who's tempting non-Muslims, but Allah is the one who's causing, basically Satan's tempting Muslims, I meant to say, and Allah is causing non-Muslims to go astray. Exactly as Calvinism teaches. Next point uh, is that in the Quran, it says that Allah sends demons to inspire unbelievers to commit further sins. This is in Surah 19, verse 83. It says, See, that, see thou not that we have sent the evil ones on against the unbelievers to incite them with fury? So Allah is actually using demons essentially. And this is another, uh, ties into this whole thing. The Quran even says that Allah actually recruits Satan. He actually is, he basically was recruiting Satan to join him into fooling unbelievers into thinking that they're doing good. This is in Surah 643. It says, on the contrary, their hearts became hardened and Satan made their sinful acts seem alluring to them. And also Allah fills the hearts of the unbelievers with doubts about Islam. Uh, this is Surah 10 verse 100. No soul can believe except by the will of Allah. And he will place doubt or obscurity on those who will not understand. Exactly as Calvinism teaches. You know, God chooses and God, basically God chooses who gets saved and who, who has faith. It's no different. And notice that too, Allah is actually using Satan. More proof of the fact that the, the false god of Islam is demonic in nature. And like I said, Calvinism teaches literally the exact same thing, almost word for word. Calvinism makes God into the author of sin. Consider these quotes by Calvinist theologians. This is from uh, John Calvin in the Institutes, basically his book, The Institutes of the Christian Religion, book 3, chapter 23. He says, The first man fell because the Lord, Lord deemed it meet that he should. Why he deemed it meet, we know not. Man, man therefore falls, divine providence, so ordaining, but he falls by his own fault. Exactly as the verse I read at the beginning says, that you know, Allah is the one causing you to err, but you're still going to be questioned for why he did it. See, John Calvin is basically parroting that verse in the Quran where he says, you know, the Lord deeming that he fell, however, he's doing it by his own fault anyway. See, they contradict themselves. 
And literally, the like quote from John Calvin is pretty much almost word for word as to what that verse in the Quran says. It's uh, Surah 16, verse 93. He got, he's getting his doctrine from Islam. This is from uh, Jonathan Edwards, the works of Jonathan Edwards, volume 2, chapter 3. He says, Hence God decrees from all eternity to, to permit all the evil that he ever that, that ever he does permit, because God's permitting is God's forbearing act or to uh, God forbearing to act or to prevent. See, this is another thing that Calvinists like to do. They often will say, well, essentially they confuse God allowing evil to happen with or God allowing sin to happen with God ordaining it. Not the same thing. God will allow certain things to happen, but it doesn't mean he's ordaining it. You know? But you see the Calvinists, they, they, they mix that up. This is, again, uh, from John Calvin. His uh, writing uh, about, it's called Concerning the, the Eternal Predestination of God, page 169. He writes, Whatsoever th things are done wrongly and unjustly by man, these very things are the right and just works of God. Same thing as what it says in the Quran there, that, he's caused, that Allah causes the unbelievers to err. This is from uh, Gordon H. Clark, his writing Religion, Reason, and Revelation in 1961, pages 237 to 238. He writes, uh, Let it be unequivocally said that this view certainly makes God the cause of sin. God is the sole ultimate cause of everything. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing independent of him. He alone is the eternal being. He alone is omnipotent. He alone is sovereign. So, Calvinism makes God the cause of sin, plain and simple. Because I've had Calvinists say, oh, you're just misrepresenting Calvinism. So I guess Gordon H. Clark, John Calvin, and Jonathan Edwards are misrepresenting Calvinism as well. You know, I guess John Calvin himself is misrepresenting it when he says that these the things that are done wrongly by man are the works of God. Okay? Calvinism, this, this Calvinist heresy that God is, is actually causing sin, uh, is straight out of Islam. And what does the Bible say? Well, the Bible clearly teaches that God is not the author nor the cause of sin. Okay, first of all, when the children of Israel were sacrificing their babies to Baal, God says it didn't even come into his mind that they would do such wickedness. That's Jeremiah 7, 31, Jeremiah 19, verse 5, and Jeremiah 32, 35. Uh, everything that God makes is good. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, and Ecclesiastes, sorry, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. God is actually grieved when sin occurs. Uh, by sin when it occurs. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 to 7, God does not tempt anyone with evil, James chapter 1, verse 13, and it is far from God for him to have wrought iniquity, Job 34, verse 10, and Job 36, verse 23. Okay, the Bible clearly teaches contrary to both Calvinism and Islam. Hey, plain and simple. And how, we, how do we know that Calvinism is from Islam? Well, we, 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 basically when we consider the fact that Islam is just a daughter of the, of the harlot of Rome, you know, basically Mystery Babylon, the Roman Catholic Church, Islam and Calvinism are both daughters of the harlot. So, of course, they're going to hold to this to basically a similar doctrine because Roman Catholicism has the same kind of murderous mentality as Calvinism used to have and that Islam still has today. Plain and simple. So, Calvinism, Islam, two false doctrines, two false religions, uh, sharing this, this heresy of God causing sin. Plain and simple. Don't be deceived by Calvinism or Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.